Biosphere 2 is a science research center owned by the University of Arizona. Within Biosphere 2, Earth's ecosystems are simulated in four major biomes, desert, marshlands, ocean, and tropical rainforest. The rainforest at Biosphere 2 is maintained by Dr. Joost van Haren, who rains on it approximately 15,000 gallons every two to three weeks, which simulates a rainforest found in the Amazon basin. It comes to about 1,500 to 1,600 millimeters of rainfall a year, which would be equivalent to what relatively dry tropical forests see. The 15, 1,600 millimeters a year here at Biosphere 2 is more equivalent to something that's 2,000 to 2,200 millimeters in the Amazon basin, for instance. Inside Biosphere 2, the structure keeps in a lot of the moisture. That's why we don't have to give it as much rainfall as in the real world. In one of his recent experiments, Dr. Van Haren tested the effects of drought on plants in the rainforest. He said the most surprising thing about the experiment was how different each tree reacted to the drought. All the responses were to make sure that they kept more water within their leaves. With other trees, what they did was they dropped just a bunch of leaves, especially the leaves that weren't fully sunlit. So with that, they reduced the amount of water loss through those leaves, and then they could keep the other leaves more functional. In addition to simulating rainfall, the rainforest at Biosphere 2 is also kept at the same average temperature as a real tropical rainforest. It's on average about 23 to 25 degrees centigrade, which is also the average temperature that uh, the rainforest naturally is at, at least in most of the Amazon basin. In another experiment, Dr. Van Haren tested the thermal tolerance of the rainforest, or how plants react to different temperatures. At what temperature do the enzymes start to break down, which means that the, pretty much the leaves are going to fall apart. And that's when everything stops. No photosynthesis can go on anymore. During the study, Dr. Van Haren found that trees in the rainforest can survive temperatures up to 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit with little to no damage, which is more than one and a half times the temperature that they are used to. So they actually could handle higher temperatures. There definitely it has been quite eye-opening in the way that the trees try to control for their own environment and actually even change the chemistry of the atmosphere to make their living conditions better. Mm. Favorite part. I, I like talking to people, I like communicating with people, and I'm good at putting things in a context that actually people can understand. So I, I make it a point of talking to the people that come to visit. And it's amazing, sometimes you get these questions that come back and your immediate response is, oh, that's a naive question. And then you start thinking about it, you go like, hmm, it's not that naive. No, no, I, I should start looking into that. <laughs>